Arcade Hollywood. What Come the out hell? to play, eh? What the hell's going on out there? What the heck? Arcade Hollywood. What's going on? Come oh my gosh. To play. It's Scott. Oh my gosh. Dude, what are you doing here? Scott. You know what that is? That's pizza. a new Unico. Well, it could be double pizza, a sheet pizza, but it's a Unico 26 inch monitor that sure? we are selling, yes. And we are going to send it to our good friend Jeff Oler at Arcade Hollywood. Are you going to use InstaShift? Well, we are, but we can't just ship the monitor in this box. Oh. We have to ship it inside another box. Well, that's stupid. Well, no, it isn't, because watch. <laughs> A nice big box. Okay, Jeff. Yes? Oh, I'm not Jeff. No, I'm talking to Jeff. Where is he? Je he's on the... Oh. He's there. Oh. He's in Ohio, and we're uh. here in Pennsylvania. So now we have to ship this Insta ship. Let's let it go. There we go. <laughs> it's on its way, Jeff. <laughs> We've got an inbound message from TNT Amusements. It looks like InstaShip has been activated. All right, look at this. We've got a package from Sir Todd at TNT Amusements via InstaShip. Looks like it's the Unico Phoenix monitor. It's the 26 inch arcade CRT monitor. So let's open the box and let's see what's inside. Wow, very nice packaging here. You can see this is the Unico Phoenix monitor series. It's the 26 inch LCD monitor. So the instructions are here. As you can see right here, the packaging's pretty, pretty cool. There is the power cord is here. And let's open this up. Wow, that's pretty cool. Check it out. Package pretty good. Let's have a peek at the back side of this monitor, everybody. So it's got a VGA connector, a CGA input connector, and also an HDMI connector. And also it has a DC power port. So our mission today on Arcade Hollywood is to install the Unico 26 inch LCD monitor in this amazing Tekken 5 cabinet. The cabinet is a metal construction and you can actually adjust this so it goes up and down. You can actually make this a sitting game. One of the cool things about this cabinet is I can open up this panel and access the controls really easy and I actually have the Pandora's box sitting there for easy access. Another thing I did with this cabinet when I first got it is I actually put new wheels on the bottom. That's what's great about this. This cabinet actually rolls on wheels. Another really cool feature of this cabinet is the back panel, the back door comes off and you can access everything on the lower side of the cabinet very easily versus like an older style arcade cabinet. So in this cabinet, I've actually added a subwoofer and some speakers with a really cool volume pot. One of the things I did when I got this game was I took the 27 inch flat screen monitor out. It was a CRT style, had a lot of trouble with it. So I decided to um, get rid of it. It didn't fit my needs. Temporarily, I had a 20 inch computer style VGA CRT monitor in here. Loved it, it looked beautiful, but it just didn't fill the gaps here with um, all the space. This really needs a 26 inch monitor or a 27 inch monitor. It does have the original flat plastic bezel, so that is actually a huge plus for this game. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add a strip of lights here to light up the control panel, kind of do some fun mods with it. So. Without further delay, let's get busy. These are the original gold-plated mounting brackets that were in the Tekken 5. I modified those 
so that I could actually just plug and play this right into the cabinet. So one of the very first things I did with this build in mounting the monitor is I actually added extensions. These are metal extensions I got from my hardware store. And this is critical because I needed to push the monitor forward so it flushed with the face of the cabinet. So something I did for this mod is I actually added a plexiglass overlay here for the monitor to protect it when it's in place. So Oh baby. Look, it's a thing of beauty. I've got everything in place. Now it's time to mount the monitor. Like I said, it goes right into its slot. Let's see if that works. So the monitor fits great right into its original slot. There are the original bolts from the cabinet, as you can see from each spot. And it all worked. As you can see, everybody, we have the power connected and the VGA connected. The bezel comes right up to the monitor. The monitor fills the gap, just like I had hoped it would. And we got ourselves a really nice looking game. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special snack break today. We are here at Paycor Stadium. Igmars, snack break. What do you got? Burger. Dude, what was the grill called? Queen City Grill. Queen City Grill. Queen City Grill, Igmars. I'm ready to dig in. I'm ready. When the Goodyear blimp is flying over for snack break. They're here for snack break, Ickmore. <laughs> you know it's true. Ickmore, we're here at Paycor Stadium. Paycor. We're here to see the Bengals whip up on the Rams. And we got Burrow. We got Burrow. He's playing. So they say, is Ricky Love playing? No, Ricky Love's not playing. Arcade Hollywood. What Come out to play, eh? What the hell's going on out there? What the heck? Arcade Hollywood. What's going on? Come oh my out gosh. to play. It's Scott. Oh my God. Dude, what are you doing here? Scott. Dude. What the heck? <laughs> dude. This what are you doing Walmart. here, dude? <laughs> I I don't know. I took a wrong turn, I guess. A little, <laughs> little messy in there. <laughs> How, how did I get here? Dude. Is that barn cave? It's barn cave. Sweet. Dude, you're here. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's the uh, Unico 26 inch LCD. And I put this light strip here. Ooh. So at night it lights up the control panel. Oh, I like that. But see, that. when you hit start. That thing's beautiful. Yeah, wait to see the gameplay. Oh, I already got some scratches. Oh, it's all right. But I put, I put a plastic bezel there to protect. Oh, good, good, yeah. good. So, Dude, it's vibrant. Yeah. Oh my God, look it's at incredible. that. It's incredible. Look, watch it, Scott. Oh my God, the sound is awesome on it. Bomberman? Yeah, I love Bomberman. This is the Pandora's box, ready? Yeah. Hop in here. Whoop. This is the Pandora's box. Oh man. It's running out on VGA. You can do HDMI. Beautiful. Yeah, and then back here, take a look back here. This is how flat it is, so. Oh, dude, that's so, beautiful. So these are, these are. Um, Breakout boxes or something? No, these are, they are, but it's how I do my direct capture. Oh, I got you. So Thanks. these are going in, but my computer's dead. Oh, no. Yeah, my, my gaming computer is dead. Dude. Yeah. Look how awesome this is in here. Isn't it cool? Yes. Yeah, here, I'll oh my go God. here. Look at this ladder, everybody. Everybody look. Look how high you can get up there. Oh my God, do the swan dive. God, you could totally touch the top. I mean, that's, you could not have got a better deal oh on God. that sucker. I know, 50 bucks. That's, bed, bed, bath, that's, neon. 
Gotta love it. He went beyond. Well, look, watch this, guy. So you hit these one and two player buttons. Yeah. And here I'm coming around. Look at all these games. I love the have. sounds. Yeah. Ooh, you got Juno first on there. How's that play on there? Let's have a look. Let me turn it down. Oh, I want to play a game. You want to play a game? Yeah. You're off on you. Oh, okay. How do I start? So we are using the action cam. Action cam. Oh, There's that credits. One. Oh, that's credit. Okay. Right. Hit start. Dang. Where's my fire? Dude, I like the camera. What's your thoughts of the Unicom monitor on this game? Oh my god, dude. This one, look at this thing. It's beautiful. The colors are vibrant. I love that it's uh, a flat, thinner monitor. It's like an updated, it's an updated 4x3 monitor and it looks incredible. This is like the perfect match for this thing. I love it. Is this something you'd add to one of your games? Hell no. No, yes, I would. I would definitely add it to my, to my collection. Um, it would look good on any number of my bigger machines. I don't have as many big ones as you have here, but I'll tell you what, I would not hesitate. This thing looks incredible. This looks great. Sweet, dude. Pretty nice. All right. You make 70 points on this. How do you get that thing? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Here's what this control panel looks like after I've added a strip of LED lights to the bottom of the bezel area of the monitor. This is really nice. And as you can see, those LED lights really light up that control panel. Coming up next on Arcade Hollywood, we have the summer pinball thing number five. This is Trent Augenstein's annual birthday bash pinball celebration. We also have clips from the 2023 Pinball Expo. And we will also do the Jackbot gameplay video. Please like and subscribe. We have a lot more content coming your way.